Let's create a simple 2D blend space for strafing. Under animation, create a blend space. Name your first axis write speed. Set its min value to negative 1. Set its max value to positive 1. We're going to use a negative 1 to positive 1 range so we don't ever need to know our max speed. Name the second axis forward speed. Set the min value to negative 1. Set the max value to positive 1. Increase the resolution to 8 for our strafe switching. Drag in your run animation from the asset browser. Drag in your walk animation. Drag in your idle animation. Now we basically have a 1D blend space. Drag in your right strafe. Drag in your left strafe. Drag in your backwards walk. Notice the backwards walk is out of phase with the strafe. The foot that is in the air does not match between the two animations. Drag in your backwards left strafe. Drag in your backwards right strafe. These animations cause our character to switch which leg is in front during strafing. Under animation, create an animation blueprint. Go to the event graph. Drag from update animation. Check if the owner pawn is valid. Get the pawn's forward vector. This is a unit vector. We're going to project the velocity onto the forward unit vector to find the forward speed. Get the movement component. Get the velocity. Take the dot product between the forward vector and the velocity. Taking the dot product between a vector and a unit vector is how you calculate scalar projections. Divide by the max speed to convert the signed speed to a negative 1 to positive 1 range. When walking backwards, the dot product will produce a negative value. Promote the result to a variable. Call it forward normalized speed projection. Also project the velocity onto the pawn's right vector. Take the dot product between the velocity and the right unit vector. Divide the speed scalar projection by the max speed to put it on a negative 1 to 1 range. Promote it to a variable. Name it right normalized speed projection. Make sure all the outputs are hooked up. Go to the animation graph. Make a new state machine. Call it locomotion. Hook it up. Go into the state machine. Make a new state. Name it idle walk run. Go into the asset browser. Drag in the strafe blend space. Hook up our speed projections. Connect it to the output. Click edit and then project settings. Click input. Make sure yours looks something like this. Move forward and move right to move. Turn and look up to move the camera. Create a blueprint class of type character pawn blueprint. Click the mesh component. Set the static mesh to your imported mesh. I have videos covering this if you forgot how to import characters and animations. Set the animation blueprint to the animation we just created. Position the static mesh. Click the capsule component. Add a spring arm for our camera. Add a camera to our spring arm. Position the camera. Click the spring arm. Tell it to use the pawn control rotation. Go to the event graph. Set up the movement input. Create an event for input move forward. Get the actor's forward vector. Multiply it by the axis value. Get the movement component. Call add input vector. Pass it the scaled forward vector. Do the same for the input move right, but use the actor's right vector. Set up the mouse turning. Create an event for input turn event. Call the pawn function add controller yaw. Create an input lookup event. Multiply the result by negative 1 so it isn't inverted. Add controller pitch rotation. Set up controller turning. To set up gamepad turning, create an input turn rate event. Multiply the axis value by float. Drag out and promote to a variable. Call it controller sensitivity. Compile. Set its value to 100. Add another pin. Drag in the world delta seconds. Call add controller yaw input. Pass this value in. Create an axis lookup rate event. Drag the value. Multiply by the controller sensitivity. Multiply by the world delta seconds and add controller pitch input. Create a game mode. Open it up. Set the default pawn to our new character we made. Go back to the level. Go to settings. World settings. Set the game mode to our newly created game mode. Play and test out the blend animation. You can adjust the play speed to better sync your animation to the ground. Like and subscribe. Thanks.